Hey guys, I'm TK and this is Tri City Talkers Anime Review and today we are going over Detective Academy Q. The story revolves around a group of young students who are thrown together into Q class at Dan Detective School, also known as DDS, which trains them to become future detectives. Now the group will find themselves in various situations where they're trying to have to solve different various mysteries, murders, crimes, all kinds of different things like that. As the story progresses, they also throw in the organization known as Pluto, a mysterious organization who sets up a bunch of different, almost foolproof mysteries, which definitely keeps our young detectives on the go a lot. Now, a lot of the crimes are very well done, and honestly, it's really fun to try to solve them before they do, or as they do. And it's, some of them are kind of easy but then some of them just kind of hit you from left field like you don't really know what just happened with that they definitely give you a fun look into the side of the world of the detectives even though it is kind of dark at times they still keep a light kind of humorous feel to the series a lot to kind of break up that darkness that you have with it so it's not just murder 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 all the time they try to throw humor in with it, so kind of off-balance it and, you know, not make it just too dark all the time. Now let's talk about the characters. So first and foremost, we have Q Rinjo. Q is definitely the main star of the series, who is very logical when he comes to actually figuring everything out. But rest of the time, he's very lighthearted, very <laughs> simple on a lot of things. And constantly kind of messes up English interpretations of words. Q is the one who usually gives you the logical explanation on what is going on. Telling however many hints there are, saying what the hints are, and then leading you through them all. He has the one major catchphrase that if the detective gives up, then the mystery will never be solved. Then you have Ryu. Ryu is also another member of Q class who has mysterious links to the group Pluto. He is a logical, intelligent detective, um, definitely the show's rival for Q. Then we have Megumi Minami. She is another member of Q class and has a photographic memory, which means whatever she sees something once, she remembers it. So, naturally, if she sees any crimes or any scenes or anything like that, she'll be able to remember perfectly everything that was in it. Then you have another member of Q class, Kazuma Narosawa, who is the child prodigy, the skilled computer game programmer who doesn't only design computer games, but also designs uh, different software, search engines, all this stuff that he uses for detective work and he uses it throughout the whole series with that he's definitely a very logical person who just does not go by like instincts he has to base most of his stuff off of his computer and what he can do with it then we have the last member of Q class Kentaro Toyama Kenta is kind of like the opposite of Kazuma as he does more based off of instincts not taking the logical explanation with a lot of stuff but just following his instincts his hunches and several times just leaving it up to dice to decide where which way he goes he's also a tenth dan in judo kendo and karate so he is definitely like the fighter of the group now each of these people on their own definitely have a more broken up feel to them their own individual unique characters but then they come together as a whole and just make a fabulous group once compiled on top of each other definitely helping each other as they go along then you also have the main then the main supporting characters that you have helping out the group you first have Morihiko Dan who is the founder of DDS who's also the only private detective in Japan allowed to carry a gun. Then you have Shino Katagiri who is the assistant and helps Dan throughout the whole series. Another notable member of the staff is Kotaro Nanami who is a master of disguise and 
throughout the series is just dressed up in a bunch of outlandish doesn't really seem like it should be disguised in anywhere that you're actually seen. Like, I mean, like the first time you see him, he's dressed as a cactus. Now, definitely some of the different pairs you have going throughout the whole series. You have Ryu and Q both kind of competing against each other as, you know, the whole logical point of view on it. You have Kenta and Kazuma just going at each other with this whole logical versus instinct that's kind of clashing at each other throughout the whole series, giving you tension there. And then you have Megu and Q who definitely bring a lot more humor into it, especially that anytime the wind blows or anything like that, he sees her panties and he has to say what they are. Animation and audio. Now, as far as these go, the music is definitely a lot harder than a lot of times until you get to the point that you're adding your action and your suspense and all of that then they kind of switch it over to a darker feeling to it but then they switch it back to a lighter feeling to kind of like i said earlier they just try to offset the darkness with some brightness so it doesn't get overpowered with one over the other one then you add in the graphics now the animation everything very fluid very solid occasionally the characters might get a kind of funky look on their face but for the most part it stays pretty consistent as you've seen with some series you'll have one episode that looks normal but then next the animation is completely weird on it and this one stays pretty consistent throughout all of it there's 45 episodes overall which is a really good length from most animes are only like 12 13 episodes this one made it to 45 with that i still wish it was a longer series but it's definitely a great series overall definitely something you want to check out now click the like button let us know that you like these episodes drop a comment down below on one that you would like to see us to do a review on later on in a future episode and also click the subscribe button if you haven't already. That way you can be up to date with all the latest information from us here at Tri-State Otaku. And until next time, we'll see you around.